Hello again, this is the Watering Man. This is Spiritual Toolbox number 563. We're continuing in John chapter 4, verse 46. I have it pre recorded. Here it goes. Hello again, this is the Watering Man. This is Spiritual Toolbox number 563. We're continuing in John chapter 4, verse 46. <coughs> Now, I just did a funny thing here. Uh, and it, it kind of flows right with what I'm, what I'm teaching here. Uh, I went over to give me a little bit more coffee and put some creamer in it. You know, I like hazelnut creamer. So I went over there and poured the coffee. And I had a glass of water sitting there close by, too, on my island. And, uh... Whenever I got the creamer, and I'm thinking, doing other things and thinking and stuff, and I'm going over there with the creamer, pour it up there and start pouring it. So all of a sudden, I look, I'm pouring that stuff in that glass of water. <laughs> I'm going, oops, that's not going to work. That's not going to taste right, is it? Then I just laugh at it and stuff, and uh, then pour it in my coffee and start up. And, uh, and then I'm thinking, you know, and this next part, we covered down to the nobleman, a certain nobleman in John chapter 4, verse 46. Okay, let me read that verse real quick. Start this off by reading the verse. John 4, 46 in the King James Version. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. Now, pouring that creamer in that glass of water, I don't know if it would really make you sick in the natural, but that would be similar to taking in any storm to your life when you got a way to pick God's way, the green way, or your own redemic ways, that's putting your own creamer in whatever. And now that water there, I know that was natural water, but that would be like pouring that creamer in that coffee in a cup full of piss with flies and stuff in it and putting your own creamer in it. That's still going to make you sick. That's not quite right, is it? That's your own righteousness. Saying, this is good stuff, drink it. Here, have a chop a dog, too. I'll put a pot dog. It's not right. We gotta go with God's right minded way. Like pouring it, putting that creamer where it's supposed to go. Uh, put it in his cup of coffee. Stir it up. Mmm. Tastes good. If you like coffee. Okay. That other way. <laughs> quite what right. If it's like this analogy I've been using that piss, your own urine, your own yuck thinking, and you try to put cream in it to kind of sugarify it, make it a good way, you know. That'd be like trying to make it it's in a good way, God, let me help you. Let me do some spiritual warfare for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Swing like a mad dog, it's just you're in the way. Lay that stuff down motionless. Prostate, out there motionless with your hands at your side. Don't try to work it out, live it out, exist it out by yourself. Huh? Don't try to help God out. Don't try to be his co pilot and tell God what to do. No. Lay down there and be a love slave of God. Your will be done, Father, not mine. I can make requests, but know that if that doesn't line up with God's way, that stuff's got to hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, you Jacob. You young Kramer. Ooh. It makes whatever good ways in the yuck ways, okay? Now, it said a certain nobleman. Now, this a certain. Let me get down here to the. I meant the notes here, but I wanted to. A certain comes from T's, T I S, 5100, this word. Oh. Uh, 
team, your me box is <coughs> my ego that keeps you in the shits thinking. You're sitting here and taste that's your smell, drinking that, yuck, piss, and you probably put creamer in that and make it taste better to it. It tastes good in your your mouth, but man, it's nasty in your stomach. I don't see how all that maggot filled piss and poop hot dogs would taste good in your mouth, but oh my goodness. Huh? You're, I think you're delusional eating and stuff, right? I think we all are. Huh? Better lay that stuff down, motionless, and don't even touch it. And then taste and see that the Lord is good. For the God, you are the greatest. You are. Lay down. Hot pursuit. Be in hot pursuit of God's way. Belong to the rightful king. This other one's squatting king. The rightful king. This nobleman. Hmm? Green light God with everything you got. Don't red light him. Hmm? In no way. Try to add your own two cents. Your own creamer. To your own piss water. Oh, yuck. It's still yuck. Hmm? Try to put mustard on that dang one poop hot dog. It might help. The, uh, yeah, I don't think it could help but taste. Hmm, filthy mister stinking rag. Poop dung hot dog. Oh, no. Huh? Mm, make it a little easier to choke down. <laughs> oh, yuck. All right? No. Go back to the Father's house. Head back to God's house. That's a journey. Just like when Jonah was taken, swallowed by that big fish and then went three days, three nights in that fish's belly and he was tangled all this junk. I'm not teaching that right now, man. I did. I've already spent a few hundred hours on that. Okay? I don't have them on the video here, but I've been referring to it a little bit. Okay? Whenever he was vaunted up on that beach, you know he still had 300 to 500 miles to go to get to Nineveh. I'm sure he was thirsty and hungry and violent. Oh, man. Oh, nasty. He still had to walk. Huh? Oh my goodness, 300 to 500 miles. That's not a little trip. Huh? Probably barefooted and everything else. Who knows? That was just nastier than that. I mean, yes, sir, Father. He gladly went then. Doesn't really tell you much about that journey. Then you get to that city. It's like three days' journey, three ages. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The whole time in your earthly experience, you're in that city of Nineveh. Oh, yuck. Huh? You still going to do what God says? Yes, sir, Daddy. Are you going to complain? Probably. You going to try to put creamer in your piss water? Probably. Huh? Let's stop it. Let that step down. Quit drinking that. Quit that, son. God's like, passion and desire. It's not anger and wrath at you. He's trying to passion and desire. Don't drink that stuff, man. I'm telling you, that's awful. Oh, don't jump. Oh, I see. Well, I told you. Now, there's another opportunity to bring you to another storm in your life. You gonna choose me this time or you gonna drink that stuff some more? Oh, oh. <laughs> double, double, double. Oh, no. Not again. Stupid! It was my friend. I was eating my own piss, drinking my own piss, and drink, eating, uh, eating my own food. Oh, huh? Stupid, right? Belong to the rightful king. This third daddy God, I give all this stuff up. I'm not fighting it. I'm not trying to do spiritual warfare. I'm not gonna put that armor on and take on that Goliath thinking in my head. Well, then it's just out there laughing at you, putting its hand on your head, going bang, 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 boom, boom. <laughs> You're an easy target, <laughs> you buffoon. Laughing at you and doing all kinds of stuff. Brace yourself, because I'm going to take this big spear and jab it up you. Jab it in your side, jab it up your butt, stab you in the back. I'm going to make you die nice and slow. All the days of your life. I'm going to torment you. Huh? 
It's death. It's separation from God. Don't eat from that knowledge of good and evil. Don't try to put creamer in your, your piss water. Okay? Now, instead, be a noble one. Belonging to the rightful king, to God. This other king is not out for your good. Your own ego. It's no good, it's no good, it's no good. Baby, it's no good. It's gonna kill you, it's not a friend. Right? Alright. So belong to God. Yes, sir, baby. Hmm? Be like that, that little kid in the classroom that's listening to the teacher up the front of the classroom giving this big lesson. That's Father God. Hmm? With Jesus right there pointing the way, the truth, and life. Yahweh is salvation. Hmm? Now, you come up there and demonstrate it. Don't go up there and think, man, I don't know how to do it right. I've been playing teaching. I've been looking outside the playground and watching them guys kick their snot out of it. I mean, condemn them to hell and rock them and suck them. And, yeah, here, let me put some creamer in that piss right there and drink it. Wrong, get out. <laughs> missing it. You're missing the mark. Where you meant to or you didn't mean to, it don't matter. You're, you're not, that's not, that's not qualifying. You didn't get it right. You come up here and demonstrate it with God. Belong to the king like that nobleman. He'll bring you up. God gives the increase. Hmm? Oh my goodness. Now, so we got to come up here and demonstrate it when it's time. When God gives his test, brings these storms in our lives. Just like he brought the storm in Jonah. Out there, he brought all that, did all this stuff. And Jonah was trying to do it his own way and go to chop, to Choppa. Huh. There's a whole lot, a whole gospel in that four little chapters. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now. Let's go on. Turn my note page. Oh, yeah. Now the next one. Yeah. That next one, who's Haas? That's when they were saying this, huh, what, which one, huh, this one, huh, <coughs> which one you talking about, God? You know, choose God's way. Not this other one that's all in this baffling confusion wind. It's still very indecisive. No, you're, you're emphatic and hot pursuit. I found some truth. It's God. Let that, let God increase that from 1 to 2 to 8 to bringing you up. Do nothing out of this old dog thinking. Don't do the fussy thinking, your old Adamic thinking, this red dog thinking, none at all. Oh man, that's poop. Huh? Poop creamer in that piss water. Don't do it. Okay? Now, who's? Oops. And then it says sign, but right before it says sign, it's reminding you this word. Strong's G, 3588, huh, huh, huh. It's a definite article, it's that ball thinking, ball in a person's mind, huh, and remember down to one thought process, it'd be like one, like the atom, then going on down, there's many, many balls inside that too, down the protons, neutrons, electrons, boom, 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 all the way down, quarks, boom, 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 boom all the way down, boom, string theory. God's got it all under control. He's taking you, the me, myself, and I, he's out of control. In this baffling, confusing wind, God, it's not out of God's control. Mankind thinks, man, it's all chaos. Let's go, let's call this chaos theory. Hmm? This quantum theory, quantum mechanics stuff is just crazy and crazy. It's just showing you. In the, in the natural, it's showing you in the spirit. It's all crazy to this carnal mind. It's going crazy. 
the cream in my piss and mustard on my poop hot dog doesn't work no more. Huh? Lay it down then, dummy. Quit eating all that stuff. Choose God. He's raising the temperature up there hot enough to that go and melt lead or something. Huh? Pressures, the lips is in your life. Hmm? Choose God. He's your protection. Let's put on the armor of God. You know, not trying to do it all your own self. That armor there will just tag on its lid or whatever. It'll just weigh you down, man. It'll, it'll melt all around you. Oh, no, it's a tomb. <laughs> Dumb it is, right? You're not speaking the love of God. It ain't protecting you. It don't protect you at all. It kills your blood. It's going on the clip. Pop. <laughs> Sinking down into your own poop. Boy, oh, down to Tortora. Oh, oh, no. I'm getting more callous down in this thing. I can't believe. Huh? We better stop it quickly. Huh? Don't want to end up with just remaining seeds in there. And that's all you're getting when they're getting to this rest that goes to crap. It's just earth. The dust of the earth returns to the dust. To the earth from where it came, and the spirit returns to the Father. You want more than just the seeds, right? He's not throwing you in no hell. No endless torment because he messed up. That's stupid. That's, that's a poop creamer in your piss water. <laughs> Come on, dog, that's the, a poop creamer. What would that be? You're seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with your own ego in the way. Diarrhea thinking. Just put some diarrhea in there. Piss water with maggots in it and call it raisin filled coffee. <laughs> oh no, I don't want none of that, man. Oh yeah, you do. It tastes good to you. It gives you what you think you want. <laughs> it ain't gonna satisfy you. Come back to God. Alright? Okay, so this ball thinking. Let me read that. <coughs> Let me read this verse again real quick. Oh, hang on a minute. I need a little trick. Let's see. So Jesus came again into Cana uh, of Galilee, <coughs> where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman. Hmm? This nobleman, nobleman, this like believe it is the God. He's God is the rightful king, not just poop thinking king. Okay, whose son was sick at Capernaum? Okay, now let me see here. Whose son? That's that. Whenever you're not choosing this old, uh, you choose the red dog. That's making him sick. Okay, making his son sick. His thought process is inside your mind. Some of that thought process is, is still sick, very sick. Hmm? Now, whose son, who's right before son, is the, the ball thinking in your mind. It's that ha. I didn't even translate it there, but it is there. It's that ball thinking in your mind, that little bitty spot inside one thought process, all the way down to tiny, way beyond anything that you can do. God's ways are way superior to our ways, okay? They're way higher, okay? Now, this son comes from YHIOS 5207. This is not a baby, not a brephos, not a nepios, not a pation, not a technon. It's a weos, this son. Strong's T-5207. We us. We us. We us. A mature, mature son. That's like a 30-year-old man. A 30-year-old adult. Huh? And it's still got some yuck stuff in it. Because it's been purified. One, two, four, eight. There's a little bit left. It's not all the way up there. Completely purified. Golden nature of God. Yeah. Huh? This nobleman is belonging to God. It's still right minded God. Green lighting God. Your will, your will be done, your will be done. This sick dog, this 
sick stuff is still making my son, my mature son, even in my mature, in my maturity, it's still making it sick. I submit that stuff. Lay out there, prostate. Don't you move, you dog. Get him, God. <laughs> Shoot him. Fire. Annihilate him. Boom. Rocket fuel. More rocket fuel. Bring me back into the right-mindedness of God. Back into the oneness of God. I don't want to go this wrong way. No more, no more. Hit the road, you Jacob, you trickster. Stop tripping me up, you brother, you stinking whore. Right? Do yuck. It's nasty. Don't be in adultery with this carnal stuff. Drop it like it's hot. Had nothing to do with it. Come back to God. Hmm? The rightful king. Don't image worship at the feet of this old red dog thinking. No more, no more. Right? Now, this sign that says, What's sick? Okay, that comes from 770, A-S-T-H-E-N-E-O. Keep buying on my time on this off. I'll have to stop this from this one. Strong she, 770, Astaneo. Astaneo. That one means it's, a, it's sick under your, it's to be feeble. Huh? It's sick under your redidamic thinking. Ooh, yuck. Wrong coffee creamer. Poop, diarrhea creamer in your piss water. I ain't gonna make you. Uh, it's not gonna make you feel good, is it? And then it says in Capernaum. It says at in the King James, but that's 1722. That's the en. Strong's G 1722. N. N. It's I N. Do you know you're not fixed position in the place, time, or state of existence. With a relationship to rest, resting in God, resting in this red dog, thinking, drinking that old diarrhea creamer in your piss, thinking, ooh, yuck, with maggots and flies in there. The more you feed on, the more flies it gets in. You say, well, that's just raisin. That's going to make you sicker than a dog, right? All right. That mature sign, even though he's a mature sign, a wee off, he's still getting sick on that stuff when he feeds that stuff. Huh? Still lay it, do the same thing, continuously on doing, bow the knee. Do more than bow the knee, lay prostate, motionless before God, and let God do the work. The battle is the Lord's, right? And now, where's this taking place at? Capernaum, 2584. It's K-A-P-H-A-R-N-A-O-U-M. This is 2584, this word. Strong's G, 2584. Cathar-Naum. 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 It's a proper located now. It's telling you where this is happening. And it's your village of comfort. Man, that's what easy peasy way, you know. Just drinking it. Diarrhea, poop creamer in my piss water. Mmm, but then it's got all kinds of yummy raisins in it. <laughs> A little bit of maggot raisins in it. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, I see it. Hmm. It even makes the, the mature sun sick. Don't drink this stuff. Huh? Huh? Huh, stop it. All right? And it's in your mind. All this stuff is in your mind. Now that comes from, let me see here just a minute. Yeah, it comes, it's a uh, Hebrew origin, probably 3723. Let me see. Yeah. It's a village that, that's, hang on, I'll have it pronounced. I've got to hurry there. Kapar. That's like a grouchy bear in Ninevite City. Walled city. Huh? It's protected by walls. And it's, and that comes from 3722 and it means to cover. Excuses. It's the easy peasy way. Man, it's the easy peasy way. 
It's excuses. It's crowds you wear it bare. Don't you dare put that stuff in my mind. That's for me, myself, and I. Yuck. Okay, now, it's a compound of that word, that village of comfort, and it comes also from the Hebrew 5151. And that's this word. Strong's age 5151. Nahum. 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 That's comfort. Tell me, be comfortable, man. Just do it your own way. You don't want to be out there in that storm like where you got a big God and stuff. You got to watch going to Nineveh. We'll give you hot dogs and some delicious coffee drinks and make up other kinds of drinks with this diarrhea stuff in your, huh, your All right. All right. Now that 51, 51 also comes down from 5162. It's, no, it's the verb. It's primary root. Nah, ham. Nah, ham. That's regret. Comfort. Oh, man, I'm regretting drinking that poop in my uh, piss water. Uh, I see it. Better go God's way and quit that stuff altogether. Don't try to spiritual warfare drinking more of this power juice, this energy juice of the Lord of the Flies. Oh, shit. Enough said, right? Have a great day, and hit like, subscribe, share these things, let's get emphatic for God. Let's not be ashamed. We're ashamed of God, he'll be ashamed of you. Right? Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.